Seems Ireland is going back into lockdown again. So, time for me to start researching a bit more and learning a bit more about photography and seeing how I can get better from learning from others. I've bought a couple of books. But before I go into the book that I've bought, I kind of want to talk to you a bit about why you should buy books or why I think you should buy books. Because, you know, they do say that an image isn't really an image or a picture until it's printed. And a book, a photography book, is exactly that. It's a book of printed images. And what you have then is a body of work that you can refer to at any one time to get any inspiration from. You can look for ideas if you're going out, if you want to go to similar places and stuff like that. And you can also learn from the journey that the person would have taken within that book. You also have a tactile feel to the image. You can get up close with the details and look in detail at the actual image, which you can't really do when you're looking at a screen. So by having a book, it really does help you to be able to sit back, relax, and actually immerse yourself in the book instead of just you know skimming by something on social media. So which book did I buy? Well, I bought Landscape Photography on Location with Thomas Eaton. And this book is an excellent book. And I only want to talk in regards to why I bought it, what I like about it, and different things I suppose to appeal to me in regards to this book. But starting off, I suppose, in regards to the author, which is Thomas Eaton, you know, if you don't know who he is, go on YouTube, type in Thomas Eaton. I'm sure you're about to find out, but most people would know who he is anyway, particularly if you watch my channel. But um, Thomas is an excellent photographer. He's based out of the UK, but he's also a person who videos every single shoot that he would go out. And it's something that is inspiring for lots and lots of people around the world. He puts out videos twice a week from many different locations. And now he's released a book, which is on location with Thomas Eaton, which the full journey of his photography so far. So what is it about this book? Well, like I said a moment ago, it's about a journey of photography and it kind of follows Thomas's journey from the start of his photography, from when he went into landscape, I think from a full-time basis, right up to present time. And it's a collection of his images that he's taken in many, many places around the world. It also gives an insight into his thought process and how he put an image together or how he spotted something within the scene because you can watch the video online, but also each image has a narrative which is explaining the background of the photograph and what he was actually feeling as well to be able to capture that shot. What you have in this book is a collection of unique images from all around the world. And it's great to be able to see that from the diversity of the images that are captured within this book. And it also shows as well the amount of, you know, blood, sweat, tears, money that goes into creating every single one of these images and the heart and the soul that goes into producing the images is evident as you read through the stories that accompany each of the images in this book. Storytelling is really, really important and it's very important in photography but also in videography. And from a YouTube point of view, when Thomas takes us on his journeys, he does tell us a story and we are following along with that and you'll see those images then that he has produced are also appearing in this book. So. When you look at an image, not only have you got the narrative which explains the background, like I said a moment ago, and how he was feeling and the thought process of that, but the image then can also be linked in via a QR code to the YouTube video of how he actually captured that image, which is absolutely fantastic because if somebody's picking up the book and they want to learn more, they can look at it, they can read it, but they can also watch it. Um, and it's fantastic, a really, really bright sunlight now, but we have a single tree which still has frost on it, although it's very, very quickly melting. Um, the sunlight isn't reaching the woods beyond the tree. So they're pretty much cast in shadow, which is almost jet black. And the side light is just catching the tree perfectly, making it stand out and contrast against the dark background. Uh, very difficult for me to film because of the bright sunlight. But what I am doing is I'm using a little pouch here just to shield the... Uh, lens from the sun, vertical composition, f11, and it's just, just stunning. You just can't beat a good old bit of winter. Absolutely fantastic. And an added bonus right now is because we can't all travel, you can now travel vicariously through these images, but also following through on the YouTube videos. Within the book, it shows a variety of locations and in many, many different lights and conditions. And what that helps you to do is be able to visualize yourself when you're out, 
if you have similar conditions, what happened? What was the type of image that was captured here? And also, how could you do it for yourself? So what are my conclusions? Well, I think it's a very, very well produced book. It's self-published as well. So fair play to you, Thomas, be able to put that book together yourself. It actually turned out fantastically well. Each image is really thought through and the story that accompanies each image is really great because it helps you as well then to envisage yourself being there when the image itself was captured. There's 55 top quality images within the book, which is excellent. I think it would be a great addition to somebody who collects books or has photography books or also a very good first book for somebody just getting into landscape photography. You can tell he put a huge amount of work into this book. I mean, it's a body of work from his journey from starting out, like I said, up to now. The amount of traveling that was involved in this, the amount of production that was involved in this. And I think, you know, from a body of work, it's something to be proud of. And I'm really happy that I have a copy of the book as well. How about you? Do you already have this book? Do you have the same thought as me? Let me know in the comments below. Or have you also got a lot of other books and dishes is adding to the collection? Actually, another book that I got before now was another member actually of the F4s, which was Quiet Light by Adam Gibbs. And uh, that's another excellent book as well. I'd recommend that you actually you know, look out and see that. I think that's on its second print now. I think actually Adam did this with Kozu Books and Thomas did his self-published. It'd be interesting actually to see the amount of work that they both put into it. Maybe I'll actually get them on the podcast and I'll have a chat with them about publishing the book. But yeah, listen, look, uh, Thanks very much for watching. Like I said, that's my review on Thomas's book. Go check out Adam's book as well. And if it's your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and until the next time, Schlong the Fall.